Welcome back to Crafted by Ray. Today I'm going to be making a zero clearance for my miter saw. And if you're wondering why we would need that, have you ever cut plywood and it all frays up on the end, chips out, and you don't get a good clean cut? It could be your blade, or it could be that you need a zero clearance fence. Well, I'm going to try the zero clearance fence. Zero clearance. Well, we'll see what happens. All right, we're getting started here. Now, the first thing I'm going to be doing is... Uh cleaning up the mess that's been building up for the last few weeks. And as you can see, these Home Depot buckets fill up pretty fast, so I'll be changing that out here. Which, I really do like these Home Depot buckets with that dust collector on top. And just get all the dust out, blow it around. I'm using a T25 to remove the screws from the old insert plate. Okay, so I decided I'm going to use uh, some cherry that I already have that's uh, half inch. I'm just going to bring it down to three eighths of an inch and cut out the piece and try to figure out how to get those contours. Oh, maybe a tape and pencil and trace it. I'm not sure yet. We'll see what happens. But if you have not yet already, it's probably a good time to hit that subscribe button, follow, give it a like, share the video if you find this helpful, and uh, I'll keep on making this insert plate. Okay, I'm, now I'm using this uh, jig that I made in a previous video. I'll have a link in the description below for how to make that. And I'm just trimming up the uh, edges of the cherry. Now I'm just cutting it to size here, and now I have to figure out this radius problem. But I do like the fit right here. So I figured I'd just trace it out and cut it over on the bandsaw and see what happens. After that, I decided to sand it because I want it nice and smooth and clean up all the pencil marks I left behind so I can add some more marks to get the hole placements. Okay, I'm just using a little punch here to make sure my bit doesn't drift around. And now I'm just uh, kind of moving the drill back and forth to make it a slotted hole so I have room to it for adjustments. Yes, my GoPro I've been using for the last year and a half has now died. So I'll be recording my new videos with my phone until I decide what kind of camera I'll use. So now I'm adding a uh, countersink so the head of the screw doesn't rise above the insert plate. So then I slotted them so I also have a little bit of play left and right. But everything worked out great as I'm installing it here. All right, now I'm going to be applying some paste wax just to make everything smooth and pretty. Now I apply it, wait a few minutes, and buff it out. It makes it everything just slide. 
nice and easy. And now I'm going to be cutting the black walnut that I'll be using for the fence. For the back. I'm going to be planing it down to about a half of an inch. Just because I didn't think it needed to be an inch thick. Okay, now I'm just going to give it a quick sand here to get rid of those planer marks and that place where the bark was, just to lighten it up a bit. And I'm going to be adding one of my favorite finishes here, some boiled linseed oil. It really makes the color of the walnut just pop. Now I'm just clamping it on the fence so I can use a silver sharpie to mark out the holes where I need to drill. I'm really starting to like to use uh, super glue and accelerator for all kinds of things in my shop. I just got this a couple weeks ago and I find uses on all kinds of things. After cutting it through, I realized I needed to take it back off to add a couple 45s so that I can use the slide because it was hanging up on the corners there. So it took me a little while to figure out that I could just use the other cutoff piece to get the 45 I needed. So that was helpful. Now I just gotta bolt it back on and add a little bit more uh, boiled linseed oil on the uh, fresh cuts. And we're done. Thanks for watching my video. As you can see, I used a piece of cherry for the bottom plate and some walnut I had laying around. I thought I'd keep the live edge. I don't know if it makes it look better or not, but we'll see. Um, now, if you could do me a favor and hit one of these boxes down below to help take you to another one of my videos that helps YouTube know that you enjoy my content. And I'll see you next time with another Crafted by Ray video.